Hallelujah. Does, does taking medicine annul your faith? That's what I like to ask. Man, I was, I was speaking recently in my church one on a Wednesday night, and we got into the subject of healing, and uh, King Asa in Second Chronicles, you know, he was diseased in his feet, and he sought the physicians and not the Lord. And there were a couple of occasions where Asa sought the Lord, and then he didn't seek the Lord. And God was displeased at the fact that he didn't seek him again when he uh, was diseased in his feet. And, uh, and it brought detriment upon him and upon his life. But however, so there are some Christians who, they, they're so super spiritual and they've gone overboard on the extreme that they don't think it's okay to take medication. And don't be in bondage to this here. You know, if you read Ezekiel, I think it's chapter 47 or 48, when it talks about the water came out of the temple. First it was at my ankles, at my knees, then it was at my, my loins, and then it was so, so much water I had to swim. You know, and it, the scripture also goes on in that passage and says the healing was in the leaves of the trees. God put healing in plant life. There are various plants out there whereby you can partake of the juice. You can eat the leaf of the tree. You can take certain fruits. And I'm telling you, there's, there's healing processes in these things that God has made. But God also made doctors and medical science. God created that. And child of God, man, if you're about to die, and, uh, and there's a medicine, there's a medication that will remedy the disease that's going on, whatever's going on in your body. You know, if you didn't get a manifestation from the healing power of God instantly, you better go ahead and take the medicine. Really, that's analogous to the, the man who's on top of the roof and uh, it's storming and flooding and the water's raising up. He's on the roof. He says, Lord, save me. And then the Lord, some people came by in a boat while the water's riding. They say, hop on in. He said, that's all right. The Lord will save me. And then a helicopter flew over above, uh, above and then dropped the ladder to him. And he said, come on, get on the ladder. Come on, the man said, he said, that's all right. The Lord's going to save me. And that rascal died drowned and went to heaven, man. And he asked God, God, why you didn't save me? God said, I sent a boat and a helicopter. God sends doctors into your life, but your first trust is always God. Even if they perform surgery, you're trusting God to work through them and the angels will direct their hands and when they make the incisions and perform the surgery. You're still trusting God for the outcome. And you're trusting God to walk in divine help. So again, if you don't get an instant manifestation and you cannot take the pain anymore, but there is a, a, a man-made remedy, man, don't be tripping, boy. Go on and take the medication. However, again, you always trust God. We trust in the Lord with our whole heart. Lean not to our own understanding. If the Lord says, don't take the medication, don't. Listen to the Spirit of God. However, again, does medicine annul your faith? No, it does not. But you can practice. This is a beautiful thing because I practice using my faith. And what it does is make you stronger. My body is susceptible and so is yours. So things have come up on my body and I have worked the word and drove it out of my body. And I've seen the healing power of God manifest in my life. And it makes you stronger and stronger to where really you're no longer dependent on any medication because you learn how to work the word. Yet again, if there's an occasion where you didn't get any manifestation and you can't take it any longer, look, your husband needs you, your wife needs you, your children need you. Don't sit there and die when all you have to do is take the pill. All you have to do is get on the helicopter. <laughs> Hallelujah. So anyway, does medication annul your faith? No, it does not. So don't be so, don't be a guru and so super spiritual to where you don't think you can take some medication shoot. I had an infection in my throat, an infection in my throat, and I know amoxicillin will take care of that. I took some amoxicillin, it went right on away. However, I was praying, I was binding that thing up and expelling it and declaring the healing power of God for two weeks over that thing. And anyway, I didn't get any manifestation. So I called my doctor and my doctor prescribed that amoxicillin and I took the amoxicillin, and now I'm not coughing that green stuff and yellow stuff, and no, that phlegm is all gone now. God is awesome, man, but still, I give glory to God. God might tell you to go somewhere. He might tell you to go do something else. He might tell you to get somebody else to cut your lawn. <laughs> I mean, he might tell somebody, you've been doing your hair all the time by yourself. He might say, you need to go to a beauty party. <laughs> Let somebody else do it. Anyway, again, I'm being a little facetious with you, but... Anyway, it's okay to trust God, and it's okay to, you know, to go another route if it's more feasible, not more feasible, but more convenient for you, all right, especially when it comes to healing. In Jesus' name, click subscribe right now to this BFABP.com on YouTube. I'm also on Facebook. On my Facebook, BFABP, I got a plethora. All my sermons, my, my entire sermons are on my BFABP on Facebook, so check that out as well. I also have a website. 
anthonyblackmanministries.com. You can read all about me, what the ministry is all about, and everything else there. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. So again, I always pray for my subscribers. I appreciate every one of you. Thank God for you. Have the best day of your life. Amen.